Let's talk about the FIFO inventory valuation using our perpetual or continuous method. FIFO stands for first in, first out. And that simply says the first goods that we purchased are going to be the first cost that we associate with our sale. We've got a beginning inventory of 25 units for $10. $10 is the cost that we associated with those 25 units. We purchased 15 more units on January or June 1st at $9. We had a sale, we sold 30 units at $19 on June 3rd. We purchased 50 more units at $7 each on 6.5, and then we had a sale on 6.645 units at $19. So let's use FIFO method for perpetual or continuous inventory to determine cost of goods sold and ending inventory. We're going to look at our first sale, which was on June 3rd, 30 units at $19. Remember, this is extra information. 30 units, we need to find the cost that's our cost that's associated with those 30 units that we sold. So we have to go to the first goods that we purchased, which is our beginning inventory. We're going to use 25 of these because that's all there is. All 25 of those, so I'm going to put this cost, move it right over here to our cost of goods sold section. And then I'm going to take 30, and I'm going to subtract those 25 that we used, so we have 5 left. I'm going to take 5 from the next purchase that we have. So 15 minus 5 that I'm going to use is going to take this down to 10, and I'm going to put the 5 over here and the cost that was associated with those five. So now this is zeroed out. Our, the units that we sold is zeroed out. We have 10 to start with. We had another purchase on 6.5 for 50 units at $7. And then we, had, we made a sale for 45 units the following day. So now we have to find out the cost that's associated with this 45 units that we sold. Remember, first in, first out, I have to find, go back to our oldest purchase which was this one now. We've already used up all of these. We're going to go to this. I'm going to take this 10 down to zero now. And I'm going to scoot that 10 back over here. And the cost that's associated with it is this. 45 minus 10 gives us 35 more units to find. We're going to have to grab the 35 units from our 6.5 purchase. I'm going to go ahead and put 35 units times seven dollars which was associated with this 50 minus 35 gives us 15 units left we're going to do a quick calculation over here to add up our cost of goods sold okay after we've added each of these up the value of our in or our cost of goods sold is six hundred and thirty dollars they ask you for the units that we sold. We simply add up the amount of units that we sold, 75, or you could also do it here. 30 and 45 is also 75. 75 units, the value was $630 cost to us. Now let's calculate our ending inventory or what we have left. It's going to be fairly simple because this is zeroed out, this is zeroed out. All we have left was our 6.5 purchase. 15 at 7. So our ending inventory says we have those 15 units, that's the number of units, and the value of those is $105. This is for our first in, first out using the perpetual method of inventory valuation.